Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Scuba Jen's bedroom. It's kind of a weird post, I know, but I wanted to talk to you tonight about packing for a dive trip or in general about packing for any kind of trip you're going on. When you're packing for a dive trip, it gets to be a little trickier because of baggage fees and things like that. Um, I showed you yesterday how the Hydros Pro uh, was a great uh, resource tool for if you're gonna do dive travel. Um, but as a underwater photographer, my packing is a little bit more complicated because of my camera. So humor me here tonight in my bedroom and let's take a look at this. And this is also part of our 2020 vision and this is where would your patty take you. So let's look what we got here. All right, here is uh, my carry-on. It's my camera case. Inside of that will be um, my different cameras and depending on what airlines you take and um, what flights you have, you have different restrictions. Our flight on Cebu, you're not allowed to have any charging cords and things like that. So I'm gonna to have to pack this a little differently than I normally do. But typically all this stuff here in the middle, all my charging cords, all the um, batteries, lithium ion batteries you have to carry on, my flashlights, a lot of the big bulky things that are heavy and that take up weight in your check bag, I typically carry on. But Cebu Pacific will actually weigh or carry on. So I've got, um, to check some of the stuff that I can. Um, I have my Pelican. I swapped over from the big Pelican to the little Pelican Air case, the bright orange case. That's got all my underwater housings. It's got the strobes. Um, it's got pretty much everything I need for the underwater camera system itself. Over here in these two containers, um, I have the hardware for my underwater system and the um, floats. Uh, to make it neutrally buoyant. Both of those things will go into my check bag. Um, what does one need when you're diving? Uh, I covered all the extra stuff for my photography, but as a diver, um, you don't need much when you're going on a dive vacation. This is gonna be a two week trip to the Philippines, and this is all I'm taking right here. So let's look at this. We're gonna start with the swimwear, because dive gear and swimwear are the most important things. So I've got two pairs of swim trunks, two tops, two rash guards. That's all I'm taking uh, for swimming other than my uh, Big O's high suits. I don't know if you're watching this or not, but I love my scuba durag products, my socks, and my Big O's for my hair. So I've got two pairs of those. I've got a raincoat. You never know when it's going to rain or when you might need that on a trip. So that's the, the swimsuit side of things. I've got a pair of flip-flops um, to kick around in. I'll be wearing tennis shoes down and I have my dive boots. So max three pairs of boots or three pairs of shoes. Sorry, that's it, not boots. Um, for shirts, I've got these little tank tops. These work great as cover-ups when you're not wearing your rash guard. They also make great swimwear or sleepwear. I have, and you can also run around at the resort with them. I've got three little nicer tops in case we're gonna go out to eat or if I wanna dress up a little bit. And actually these kind of color coordinate with my uh, swim trunks, which also can serve as shorts. Speaking of shorts, I'm taking three pairs right here. One, two, three. Uh, they, you can sleep in them, you can run around in them. They go good with the t-shirts, with the swim trunks, also goes with shorts. You got your unmentionables, the socks and undergarments. So that's pretty much it for clothing. And you're probably like, wow, that's gonna be two weeks worth of clothing. Well, Tide makes a really wonderful travel item here. This is my toiletry kit here. This is a lifesaver. If you wanna take less clothes, you can take this and do your laundry in a sink or a bucket while you're on vacation so you don't have to take as much. Remember, you're limited to 50 pound bag on the checked bag. This is the dive gear I'm taking. I've got my fins, boots inside of here, the snorkel. This is serving as my rash guards, my Scuba Pro Everflex 1.5. We've got my regulator and my hydros. I do run the Air Integrated and an Air 2, so it's nice and streamlined. Two hoses, packs down nice and neat. My mask and my HUD, this will also go into my backpack and go with me. I have a purse because I'm not carrying a purse on, I'll just pack it and that way if I want it when we're running around town. Probably one of the most important things you can bring, your logbook. Inside my logbook are my cert cards. 
And since I'm going to the Philippines, this is going to come in handy. Heather, don't forget yours. Jeff's not on here, so, you know, he's not going to get this reminder. Um, but because their plugs are different, well, I'm going to need that. I have spent the day charging all my electronics. Almost everything I have, my strobes, my flashlight, my camera, all have rechargeable batteries. So I'm charging those ahead of time because last time we were in the Philippines, we did have some power outages and I don't wanna be kept uh, away from taking pictures and things. So I'm trying to charge them as much as possible. Last year before we went, I also bought an extra battery for my video light. Um, and all this is gonna go into my Scuba Pro Dive and Roll light. This is a great suitcase. It is very well used, so it doesn't look, you know, nice and shiny as a new one. But this right here is a backpack that unzips and you can carry around as a day pack. Inside of here will go, I have a cooler that I carry my camera in went back and forth to the boat. Or actually, we're going to let Jordan and Tito carry it this time. And then everything else will fit inside of here. Um, doesn't look like much stuff, but it's all I need. I guarantee you everything in here will be touched and worn. And... The extra room that's in my suitcase, because I know this is not 50 pounds, it's actually going to be for candy. We like to take candy when we go to the Philippines. I just have to get time to go get it. So what is your 2020 vision for next year? Or actually for this year? What does your dive gear look like when you travel? If you're going on a trip and you need some packing tips, come by the Playground Dive Shop. I'd be happy to help you. Even better yet, come on a trip with us and I'll pack for you. Or... Take me with you on your trip. I'm open to that. I have dive gear, will travel. So on behalf of the Playground Dive Shop, if you like these videos, you can uh, click like below. Oh yeah, hi Mindy, I see you're listening. I hope you're taking notes. This is dedicated to you. This is also dedicated to Doug. Those are my favorite packers. Um, hope to see you guys soon. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.